When you're building view applications, you may often need to show or hide some HTML based on a certain condition. Luckily, Vue makes it really simple to do that. To conditionally render elements, we have four directives. They are we if, we else, we else if, and we show. Let's understand the first three directives in this video and learn about the we show directive in the next video. Let's consider a very simple scenario. Given a variable, we need to display if it is zero or a positive number or a negative number or not a number. Let's begin by adding a new data property, num and set it to zero. First, let's check if the number is zero or not. So in the template, h2 tag and the text is the number is zero. To conditionally render this element, we use the v if directive. So on the h2 tag, v if. This directive accepts a JavaScript expression that evaluates to either true or false and will render the element only if the JavaScript expression evaluates to a truthy value. For this element, the expression is num is equal to zero. What we are basically informing view is to render this h2 element if the condition num is equal to zero is true. Since the expression does evaluate to true, you can see that the h2 element is rendered in the browser. If I change the number to five, the expression evaluates to false and the element is not rendered in the browser. Now let's improve on this. So instead of displaying nothing, let's display that the number is not zero. For that, we need to make use of the v else directive. So right after the first h2 tag, I'm going to add another h2 tag and the text is the number is not zero. And on this element, we add the v else directive. Now make sure the v else element is right after the v if element, otherwise this will not work. So if we save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the text, the number is not zero. So we are conditionally rendering our HTML elements based on a data property. If the number is zero, we display the first element, else we display the second element. Now when you have just an either or condition, the v if and v else directives are sufficient. But if you have more number of conditions, then you have to make use of the v else if directive as well. Let's add a few more conditional HTML elements. Let's display if the number is zero or negative or positive or not a number. Now we are already checking if the number is zero. So next, let's check if the number is negative or positive. So right after the v if statement, I'm going to add another h2 tag and the text is going to be the number is negative. On the h2 element, we add the v else if directive. This directive again accepts a condition which is a JavaScript expression. The expression is num is less than zero. I'm also going to make a copy of this element, change the condition to num greater than zero and the text the number is positive. Finally, if none of the first three conditions are satisfied, we display the text, not a number. Let's save the file and verify if this code works. Right now, the number is set to five and hence we see the output, the number is positive. Let me change it to minus five and you can see the text now reads the number is negative. Assign zero, 
the number is zero. And finally, if we assign a string value, you can see that it is not a number. Our conditional rendering template is working as expected. Now, the only thing you have to keep in mind is that both v else and v else if directives must follow a v if or v else if directive. Otherwise, it will not be recognized. Now, one other point to discuss is about conditionally rendering more than one element using the same condition. In the data object, I'm going to create another property called display and set it to true. In the template, I'm going to add three more elements. An h2 tag that says Vishwas, the second h2 tag that says Code Evolution, and the third h2 tag that says View. Now I want to display all the three elements if the display data property is set to true. Because v if is a directive, it has to be attached to a single element. Now we could add the condition v if is equal to display on all the three elements. But obviously that would be code duplication and doesn't seem like the optimal solution. Now one solution is to wrap all the three elements with a div tag and then apply the condition on the div tag. So div tag. And on this div tag, we if is equal to display. If we check the browser, it works as expected. But the problem is that we have now introduced a div tag into the DOM. So if I inspect the element, we have a div tag wrapping the three H2 elements. Now this could potentially cause a problem in your layout based on the CSS you might have. So to handle this scenario, view provides a template tag which serves as an invisible wrapper. So back in VS Code, change the div tag to template. And if you now take a look at the browser, the output remains the same. But now we don't have the additional div tag in the DOM. All right, that is about the v if, v else, v else of directives, and also the template tag for conditional rendering in view. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.